of shoes. I'm Winter, and this is Super Fun Adventures. Let's take a look. I didn't leave anything in here, did I? I can. I suppose I can put away some of the things I have. I do need the mushrooms. I don't know if I'll ever need the gravel. Actually, I do need the gravel. Oh, and I still have some gravel at the base of the staircase where I dropped it last time. Hmm. One thing I would like to do is. Uh. uh Build a. That's what I was. Uh, what I thought I could use the gravel for. Build a zombie pigment trap because I have decided as an objective to give myself 50 pigment to kill. Oh, talking about that, I still have two ghasts to kill, so there they are, right there, right there. There's six little two of them. 50 pigmen! So we have two ways of doing that. One is to. Do it. Uh, where, where your aim is terrible. Not even skeletons are like that. Uh, oh, it's good. It's good. <laughs> it's actually kind of impressive. <laughs> um, and that was horrible. Killing pigment directly or killing pigment indirectly. I only have those two ways of doing that. And uh, oh, I shouldn't be jumping. That just just messes with my aim. Hitting them directly is definitely the easiest way, but it's also going to... Oh, that was close. It's also going to have the most uh, horrible uh, consequences, because once I hit one of these guys, all the pigmen that there are going to be really mad at me. I'm not actually entirely sure what's the range for pigmen to get mad at you. Maybe 50 blocks in each direction? Also having some water would be pretty neat. Oh, that's something I actually wanted to talk about, besides uh, how to kill pigmen. Uh, also, how the nether is going to affect the gameplay here. Like, uh, this is what reminded me uh, of that subject. Water! Water is actually going to... Where is it from? Oh, there is actually above me, almost. This should be actually a pretty safe spot from gas. Oh dear. Let's try not to get killed. And get behind a tree or something. Oh, seriously. <laughs> Bam! Oh. Hmm. Should I collect more grass, more seeds? Well, so. Water works normally in an nether biome. Even though you'd expect it not to. If you pick up water in a bucket and you put it down, it's going to work normally. It's not going to evaporate. Because that is not something that is affected by the biome. When you put on a bucket uh, of water, Minecraft is going to check what dimension you're in, not what biome you're in. And again, is I explained already? Yes, I did. There is a difference. This is pointless. <laughs> there is a difference between biome and dimension. I mean, for the same reason, the end and the jungle aren't the same thing. <laughs> uh, they're two completely different things, and I am almost out of wood. The biome is going to affect some things, and the dimension is going to affect others. Hmm? They're two different things, and they have different effects, and they can coexist or not. Like in this case, we are in the overworld, which is one of the three dimensions Minecraft currently has, and yet in another biome. They're, oh, I was still in the fire. They're two different things. Woo! One gas aside. Okay. Good. I hadn't even seen that. Now let's try not to die to the oh 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 A bit too close. I'd like not to repeat that experience. Hi there. Let's see, do we still have gravel on me? I believe I do. There we go. This would be one way to kill a pig man without angering all of them because he is not going to realize that it's my fault if he's dying right now. Because it's a pig and a zombie. Both of them do not really have... Well, a pig definitely has much more brain than a zombie does. I guess a zombie has brains both has brains anyways. They just are not functional. I don't know where I'm going with that, but... What's important is that I killed my first pig man, but I can't... Uh, I definitely will never manage to kill 50 of them this way, because trapping one... <laughs> Trapping a single one in some... In some blocks? I guess breaking a blocks below it is... Could be faster or not. Well, I should be using a shovel. But it's going to be really annoying to do. 
Making a much bigger trap with a whole bunch of gravel on top could maybe work. I think Pigman could uh, possibly drown. It's actually kind of funny. It's a funny concept. I'm not expecting the Pigman to be able to breathe underwater. So maybe eventually once I get water I could use that. But I would like to at least start working on these as soon as possible because I need I need food. I need food badly. How many guests have I killed? Only one, I think, in this episode. I need to kill more. Let's go downstairs. I could explore the mine shaft to look for some bread. Okay, first I'll kill this guest and then I'll go downstairs and try to look for some bread. Maybe some melon seeds. Why not? Even though that is a terrible source of food as well. It's a shame I can't get the bones. But yeah, I was talking about the difference ooh, between Bions and Dimensions, ouch! Uh, again, oops, I did it twice. The Dimension is the thing that affects water buckets and not the biome. In the same way, the biome does not affect the spawning of fortresses. It's the Dimension that does that, which is why... We cannot get in the overworld of a super flat world, no matter what we do with the custom preset, we cannot get fortresses. So we will not be able, unless we travel, oh the old oh, zingers, unless we travel to the real nether, we will not be able to get uh, our hands on uh, the, the, the wither skeletons, which really don't give us much, except Noble call. Oh, I'm not planning on building the wither either. Oh, I can hit you from here. Urgh, no, I can't. If I'm... I have a glorious idea. <laughs> in, in all modesty, I have a glorious idea. I'll kill you later. Just wait for me. Ow. Hopefully. Hey, let's try not to die in the meantime. Oops, I might totally die here. Uh oh. Aww. That was terrible. Crap, I closed my thing with the netherrack. I have to punch through. I am silly. Okay. Oh dear, that's going to... Maybe it's going to open a hole to my staircase. Ah, <laughs> uh, I have died in Superfoot Adventures now. That's so sad. I was hoping that wouldn't happen. Ever. It'd be immortal. But no. I died. Right here in my base. <laughs> hmm. Guess I deserve that. Do I only have one torch? Well, I definitely can't have lost stuff in these turkeys. Yep, this was actually a very safe place to die in. <laughs> Make sure I would get all my stuff back. So no fortresses, so no crazy loot from them either. I will have to travel to the ne real nether to be able to do that. Assuming this seed is nice and there's a fortress nearby of whatever portal I will end up building. I got one string. Wouldn't I get one string? I don't remember getting one string. Previous episode maybe? Well at least that filled my saturation and hunger. <laughs> Let's have some blocks on my bar. I guess I can repair the shovels, build another pickaxe. But if there is one thing that does, uh, that is affected by the biomes, is the bed. I'd like to say something here. Uh, I am playing Tinty's preset, uh, how should I put it, uh, semi-blindly. <laughs> I haven't already played in this preset in survival before. What I have done instead has been indeed to uh, start the world with this preset and test it and take a look around, fly around in creative and see whether uh, my ideas for objectives and everything would actually work. I spent like 30 minutes... Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh crap, this is very... Not great. Uh, I spent like 30 minutes just flying around in creative to make sure that uh, uh, a vein of gold would have spawned down here at this specific layer. And 
I did find eventually some gold, which confirms what I was talking about, about uh, g uh, heights that the uh, veins of uh, metal spawn at, but... Uh, yeah, that, that's all I needed, I just wanted to see a vein of gold once. Uh, uh, th this also was not in this seed, obviously, this is entirely randomized, so... Uh, here. Let's try not to get hit by that gas. Ooh! <laughs> it was actually kind of cool. The fireball just flying below my feet. Alright, I want you, I want you, and I want you. So, I'm playing semi-blindly, as I said. So, there are things I do not know about this preset. There are some things I'm, that may happen that I would will not absolutely expect. One of those things would have been... Uh, Beds exploding. I had no clue. Okay, so everybody knows, <laughs> and so did I, that beds explode if you try to sleep in them in the nether. I think most people know this. If you don't know, now you do. What I thought, however, because of what happened in my previous season of Super Fat Adventures, was that biomes would make or not make a bed explode. Yes! Oh, this worked! That's awesome. I'm fishing gas. Almost. Come down here. Ah, it's not coming close enough. I feel like I have to make bits of a staircase or something to jump on. Fishing gas. Oh, oops. And I'm out of food. But as it turns out, the beds are kinda... Oh, I can't drag a gas. Never mind. Beds are kinda inconsistent in their behavior. In a previous season of Super Adventures, I was capable of sleeping in a bed even though I was in an end biome. Even though beds explode if you are in the end, in the real end, the end dimension. Hmm? But as it turns out, uh, beds will also explode in the nether biome, even though you're not in the nether dimension. So, like, uh, down here, where we are right now. I accidentally spoiled this to myself uh, when I was recording the trailer intro video thingy. I placed down a bed and tried to sleep in it and it blew up in my face. And that was actually really sad and also hilarious, I suppose, that I kind of wish I was recording at that moment, but I was not. Uh, because I had built uh, the house that uh, shows up in the intro, in the trailer, in the video, I don't even know what to call it, I guess it's uh, some sort of trailer. Um, and uh, I had to place the bed on top of the house and it kind of made a mess uh, when it blew up and I was not expecting that. And later I had uh, the necessity of recording a couple of extra scenes uh, and that required to rebuild the house in an entirely different place because of the mess that uh, <clears throat> had happened in the meantime. Uh, there was also some TNT involved, but uh, you haven't heard this from me. And uh, th this uh, led to a couple of inconsistencies in that video between clips. There are some things that kind of change position for no reason, like some, um, like, uh, some torches and some trees. So if, if you have noticed that, or if you're going to pay attention next time you watch it, you're going to notice that uh, some between some clips there are some differences in the position of also things like tall grass and etc etc. That's the reason why, because I had to rebuild the house at a certain point and that was just in a different spot. Uh, uh, so yeah, this, this accident happened, I did not think I would hit that... Uh, Okay, I should not be fighting guests while starving. It was kind of an accident, I didn't want to spoil myself anything from this season, because I was totally planning to build a bed in this season. By, you know, grabbing string... Oops, I want to place a torch string from the mine shafts and make a bed, because that's exactly the same thing I did the previous season, and I thought beds would uh, ignore the biome and just check what dimension you're in. But apparently they don't. They totally explode if you're in another biome even though you're not in another dimension i don't know why my hunch my guess is that uh, when beds were implemented they were implemented to check uh, 
what biome you're in, maybe also what dimension you're in, maybe it does both things. Uh, that's, uh, that's a bad thing, and I ran out of coal. Oh, oh, wait. Stay there, don't shoot. And eventually, when the end was implemented in the game. Oh crap, there's a spawner somewhere, um, somewhere, somewhere above me. Eventually, when the end was implemented in the game, they just made bad check in what dimension you're in, because there was no need to check what uh, dimension and what biome you're in. Because even in Minecraft, normally if you're in an end biome, you're also in an end, in an end dimension. It's just, there's no need to check for both things. And then, oh, that is horrible. <laughs> and then it kind of just stayed that way, so now in super flat worlds where you can have an end biome without an end dimension, it kind of just, just it works. The bad works normally. To summarize, I... Um, I'm really afraid of these key spiders. I had no idea that bats would explode if you're in a nether biome. And I accidentally spoiled this myself, and if I hadn't, I would have totally discovered this while playing for in, in, and recording for this season, and... Uh, let's see if I can break this spawner. Oh dear. I did! The first cave spider spawner down! Hooray! I'm still starving and still can't see any chests. This is terrible, and I have a bunch of spiders after me, I believe. Oh, another guess is going to shoot me soon. Yes, it is. Uh, I remember seeing one chest. Do I? Do I? Sudden memory loss. Oh, let's not take fall damage. Okay, you guys have to go, huh? Oh, that's. I'm not suffocating them. I. Oh, hi! Alright, I guess I only have one thing to do. I said to not take fall damage, but. Manzai! What a horrible situation I find myself in. Hi! Hello! Come here! Let's not fall in accidentally in lava pools. Yeah, no, this is not working. I have to do something. I have to. I guess I can escape back in my tunnel, but I still have no food. This is horrible. That didn't go too well. So I suppose I have accidentally spared myself blowing up my own base. <laughs> but it's kind of a shame because that would have probably been ridiculously hilarious if it had happened in this uh, series of videos in an episode of mine, so I'm sorry about that. Uh, hey, hi! You're going to be easy to kill. <laughs> if, any of my, if I ever invited any of my viewers at my house, none of them would come, because this is how I greet, I greet my guests. Oops. No, don't go. You are not allowed to leave. There we go. Okay. Killing a pigman through suffocation will not make uh, pigmen around it uh, mad. So that's one way to deal with pigmen, but otherwise... Yeah, I will not be able to trap uh, many pigmen this way. And I really need to do something about this food situation. I haven't seen any more mushrooms. Red ones at least. I haven't really tried to go too far. I'm just afraid because uh, I don't have enough uh, health in the first place. <sighs> what can I do? What can I do? I have no idea if fitting a pigman with a fishing rod is going to make them uh, angry. I know snowballs do. So it's possible they do not just react to damage, they actually react to any sort of interaction between them and a the player. I really have nothing else I can do but uh, try to start punching them start slashing them to death so one thing i do know is that i definitely have to be safe uh, as i do so let's try to make some fences i haven't really tried before to kill pigmen safely in any way i don't know what to do i would love to build a gigantic suffocation trap in the sky <laughs> but uh, yeah, i have no idea how that would work Let's leave some stuff behind. You too. You too. 
Hmm. I can't put this to any use, can I? Now let's just hope there are no guests around here. Oh, this site really is pretty safe. And let's go somewhere. I cannot sprint. Where I can hope I will not go back to for a while. So even if pigmen are angry in that area, it's not going to affect me too badly. Smash the seeds. Did I mention water is going to... That water works normally in another biome? Because it does. There is uh, no problems with the water buckets, you can place them, you can pick water back up, everything is going to work normally, because water buckets do check in what dimension you're in and really don't care what... Uh... Oh, I could do this, actually. I really don't care what... Um... Oh, I need more. Biome you're in. Other things I wouldn't know. Other things I'd have to discover them by myself. So I could still be surprised by some... Things I would not be expecting. Now let's test this. <laughs> they do get mad. Whoop! And they also can hit me through fences. Crap! Crap! <laughs> hmm, did I leave a hole? That would be hilarious if I left a hole. Well, that at least gave me back uh, my hunger. So it's great. <laughs> That went poorly. I will have to figure out uh, something next time. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Where did I even go? I think I went that way. Did I go that way? I think I went that way. And I will see you in the next episode of Super Fit Adventures!